fifth round of the competition, it was this match that captured everyone's attention. Arguably two of the favourites to go all the way. It's going to be fascinating. It is Porto and they take on Barcelona. It's coming up live next on EA TV. Well, the weather forecasters promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And we've got UEFA Champions League group stage action to bring you tonight. It's Porto versus Barcelona. Well, after their draw in the opening game, Barcelona need a win here today. They certainly can't afford to lose this one. This is a key game for them. And a look at the starting lineup for Porto. Well, if they're going to play as a 4 4 2, they must make sure they stay compact out of possession and then stretch the pitch when they do have the ball. How they play in transition is going to be key today. Well, this is what we think for Barcelona. Marc Andre Ter Stegen stands between the posts. Ilkay Gundogan plays alongside Frenkie de Jong in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today is Robert Lewandowski. And the game begins. Mehdi Tarami. Fran Navarro. A smart stop here. And there's the delivery. Not the most confident clearance. Well, they can bring it out now. Lewandowski. And the ball back with Porto here. Based on recent form, Stuart, you can make a strong case for Robert Lewandowski to have a big say in the proceedings today. Well, Derek, a brace last time out, but no real surprise that we're focusing on him. It was his movement for me, always active, always trying to find that yard of space, and I expect we'll see the same again today. Romeo. Gundogan. Here's Rafinha. And players waiting in the centre. Well, that's good defending. Well organised at the back. High pressing at its best. Pepe. Barcelona have lost possession. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw.
He has teammates around him. A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, but the finish is so easy. He's given far too much time and space. He doesn't even have to jump. Poor defending, you have to say. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Kunde. It's with Gunduan. Jules Kunde on the ball. Joao Felix. Now with De Jong. Oriol Romeu. Gundogan and a fine tackle but he's certainly not alone the referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace Well, the free kick taken, but saved easily by the keeper. Frankie de Jong. Jules Kunde on the ball. Gundogan. Intelligent threaded pass here. De Jong. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Oh, maybe the equaliser. The net is staring him in the face. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Opportunity squandered, Stuart. Well, what a chance that was for the equaliser. You don't get too many better than that. Gundogan. Barcelona now in potentially a dangerous position. De Jong. He's got to score! And the keeper throws himself at the ball. And over it comes. And it nestles in the back of the net. Barca are level. Well, here's the replay. It's certainly a well-delivered ball into the area, but I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it shouldn't go in at that near post. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Joao Cancelo. Frankie de Jong. And the referee has given the advantage to Barca. De Jong. It's with Gundogan. Able to skip past his man. Gundogan! They've only gone and grabbed another one. Two goals in quick succession. Now they have the lead. No wonder they're celebrating.
Well, as you can see here, Gundogan just goes past the defender with such ease. And then it's a top-class finish from Gundogan. He never looked like missing, did he? Well, he has to get his team playing again. This isn't going to plan. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Mehdi Karami. Said really well to get through. And his teammate got him out of trouble. Joao Cancelo. Rafinha. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. Well, I think it's fair to say he doesn't agree with that decision. Inigo Martinez. Lewandowski now. De Jong. On to Cancelo. Is this the moment? Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Looking tentative. Joao Cancelo. Here's Rafinha. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Pepe. Can he convert? And nicely parried away. Joao Cancelo. And there it is, the half-time whistle. So Stuart Ilkay Gundogan has caught the eye. Sum up what he's produced up to this point. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. And now they get the ball rolling. He has teammates around him. A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. The net is staring him in the face. Oh dear, oh dear. Opportunity squandered, Stuart. Well, what a chance that was for the equaliser. And the second half underway, with Barcelona looking to build upon what was a largely positive first half showing. And the pass deftly cut out. Navarro. Mehdi Karami. Opportunity it is. And a really good diving stop. And given the defender's touch, the referee says corner. Well, it's been a while, but these fans are now coming to life. Can they equalise here? Clearing it away. Grujic. Well, there's a really stylish piece of running. 
Got to it easily, the keeper. Well, it wasn't superb distribution by the keeper, that we can say. Delivered into the area here. And he's gone and scored to level it again. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Inigo Martinez. Oriol Romeu. Gundogan. De Jong. On the ball, Joao Felix. And Barcelona being afforded too much space. And clears the danger. Pepe. Fran Navarro. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Joao Cancelo. Frankie de Jong. And the flag raised. Offside it is. Mehdi Taremi. And still danger here. One terrific save after another. De Jong. Lewandowski now. What was the chance they could get caught out on the break here? De Jong. It's a fine piece of attacking play from Lewandowski. And he has teammates to give it to. Lewandowski, can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, as the replay shows us, this is the way to beat tight marking. Just look how he turns with the ball. That's a fantastic goal, you have to say. Three, two it is. Who would have predicted that before a ball was kicked? Mehdi Taremi into the final 20 minutes. Frankie de Jong. Romeu. De Jong. Joao Felix went in strongly, decisively. Grujic. Promising attack this. They could level it. Oh, a tremendous block. Gets in the way once more. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Well, couldn't bend his run, and the flag went up. Gundogan, Lewandowski, on to De Jong, very quick thinking there, Pepe, Lewandowski now, Joao Felix, and room to roam for Barca on the wing, can he create an angle? And putting paid to the danger. 
being pressed here. Steven Eustachio. The ball with Pepe. Quite possibly a yellow card. As their flow was stopped. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And he's through here. Could be it! Just the clearance that was called for. <laughs> On the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly. Surely! Well, he'd be disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly. Sergio Roberto. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Well, the timing was perfect. Ball one. Varela. Here's Grujic. And the final whistle has sounded. The end of the game here. A win for Barcelona. Their fans are going to be happy about that. Yeah, good result today, and with four points from six, they've put themselves in a decent position to move on. The next game will be key, though. It's vital they show the same verb as they did here. Well, it's understandable that we focus once again on Robert Lewandowski. How would you sum up his performance? Well, he gave them a really hard time, didn't he? His speed of thought was excellent, and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant today. He has teammates around him.